One of the reasons why I think Hackenschmidt is somebody who is truly singular in the field of wrestling and physical culture history is because of the enormous amount of publicity that he produced because of who he was. This is August Robinet, and these you can tell these are cabinet cards that are in St. Petersburg, and they're, in, they're a part of a series that, again, they're illustrating Greco-Roman moves, French wrestling. I was at that time almost unknown to the general public in France, and everyone was astonished to see me defeat the popular Robinet in the short space of four minutes. Robinet was too sportsmanlike to attribute his defeat to accident, but in answer to questions said that I was very strong. He has a grip like a vice, and if he gets you on the ground, you are done for. It was about this time that people began to call me the Russian Lion, and that's in 1899. I know that his nickname was uh, Russian uh, Lion, so, and that, that was probably because in that time, Estonia was part of uh, Russia. Yeah, I know he was undefeated like 10 years in a row, 3,000 matches. That's something to look up to. 